Ah, welcome to another episode of Because of Liberty, and today we are going to have a very special episode where I am going to show you guys how easy it is to file to run for office. So one of the big problems that we have in our representative republic nowadays here in America is that there's just hardly any choice, or in a lot of situations there is just no choice whatsoever. You'll go and you'll look at your ballot, especially your local elections, and you'll see nobody running against the incumbent. Um, sometimes there's just nobody running at all. And so, like, to get into that position, literally all you have to do is sign up and you skate right into the office. It can be done really easily. You just uh, go online. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. I'm about ready to go head down to the uh, county elections office and uh, show you how to run for office. Um, just It's really, really simple. Something that you can do from home. You can do it on your smartphone. Um, and a lot of the things that you can run for right now are free, so you don't get paid for them, but they're free to file, so it doesn't cost you a dime to run for them. You really need to get involved, people. Instead of just uh, sitting around complaining about the way things are done, maybe like uh, get off your butt and try doing some things yourself. Like it's it's just a thought. Now, I'm going to be running this year for a Kellett's Two Fire District uh, Commissioner believe a seat one and um, have no expectation expectation whatsoever to win I'm just gonna be doing this as a paper campaign uh, as a bit of activism liberty activism um, but I mean I'm, I'm totally willing to uh, you know do the job if I somehow were to win for whatever reason um, yes if you you want to know what the qualifications are to run for uh, local office you just need to be 18 you need to be a registered voter in the area that you're running and that's about it. I mean, even corner, county corner. I mean, you would think that you would like need to have some kind of medical background to do that, but you really don't. I mean, it helps, but you don't. Um, so yes, I'm gonna go ahead and head on down to the county elections office. Go ahead and get that situation started, and uh, I'll get back to you. So I'm down here at the Cowles County Courthouse, getting ready to file for office and show you folks just how easy it is to do. You can actually do this from home if you're running for something that is free to file. Actually, if you just have a credit card, I believe you can from home also so something you could totally do from home um, if you have a problem with the way anything's being ran you can in fact run yourself as long as you're a registered voter and you live in that area I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this from home and screenshot this all anyway so you can see this Just watch how fast this takes doesn't take long at all this is actually the easiest part of running for office are you gonna want to do a, your candidate photo Sure. Okay. Actually, when does the candidate photo have to be turned in? Not until May 26th. So okay. if you have one you want to submit. Oh, yeah, so. I'll, I'll get one submitted. Okay. So that's important to note, folks, that uh, you can get your candidate photo down here at the uh, elections office. If not, you have until a later date to get that turned in. And there's, like, specific dimensions, so you want to make sure to get the, uh, the right thing turned in. So it's going to ask you for your uh, email to confirm the email, your phone number, your address, um, and then uh, my campaign contact information, so mailing address. It's all going to be the same. Continue. So this right here is online candidate filing. This is where you're going to pick what you're actually going to be running for. So you'll select your district type. I'm going to click fire. So you'll click fire and then uh, Calix 2 fire and rescue since that's what I'm actually clicking on. Commissioner position one. That's pretty easy. And then ballot information. So it says please type your name exactly as you want to see it to appear on the ballot. If you type in hardly any choice. I want to make sure you get that correct because like if you spell anything wrong the state will totally just let you spell stuff wrong. You'll get to the online candidate finally page for the confirmation. Uh, by submitting this declaration of candidacy, you are subscribing to the following oath. I declare this affirmation is, to the best of my knowledge, true. I also swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States and the Constitution and laws of the state of Washington. And then you affirm this and I wish to file. Okay, Curtis, I'm the one that approves candidates. Yeah. So I just went in to approve yours, and I hate to tell you this, but according to state law, nicknames are acceptable. Hardly any choice is not a nickname. So you do have to file 
by your name and can include a nickname in that name. Okay. But hardly any choice isn't a nickname. All and right. it is in state law. So So it's like if I put in parentheses like Jason Freeman? Sure. Because that is an actual alias. Sure. Like it's on my concealed weapons permit. So I haven't approved it yet. I don't think that you How can do it here. Yeah, but if you tell me what you want me to put in there, I'll I just can put change in, it. I don't know the I'll show you how to spell that. You can just come in. Okay. So, guidance is yours to keep. Um, we already went over the filing fee, not refundable. Yes. Uh, your statement and photo are due by 5 next Friday, the 26th. Mm -hmm. That's on page 8 of the guide. If you decide to withdraw, that's Monday, May 22nd, 5, 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. That form is on page, page 15 of the guide. Um, uh, filing with the PDC, we don't handle any of the financial aspect of yeah. the candidate and that their contact information is on page seven. Uh, we don't have to worry about pronouncing your name. It's pretty simple. <laughs> uh, we do lot draw on Friday at 5 p.m. Uh, that's me 19th. Uh, sorry, I'm like super out of breath. Oh, pregnant. <laughs> Congratulations. <everyone. laughs> Thanks. Um, but we do that uh, to determine ballot order. Yeah. So. Did you want a copy of this? Um, sure. Okay. Well. There you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for coming in. Yep. And there you have it, folks. It's just that easy filling out a little form on the internet. And that's really all there is to to it. Um, you know, we uh we have a lot of positions here in Cowitz County that don't have anybody running against them. So if you're the type of person that complains about politics, if you're the type of person that has a problem with authority and you don't like the way things are being done, try running for office yourself. I don't know, what can it hurt? You're like, you don't even have to spend any money. I'm not going to be spending a single dime on this campaign this time. Um, do something. I'll just talk about it. Be about it. So, hit a like and subscribe and share. If you want to run for office, just do it. Don't even think about it. Like, should I run for office? Yes, go ahead and go do it. Especially if it's a free office to run for.